All right, let's take a look at the tape here. John Gunther is 23 to Chase 26. Gunther's 5'11", Chase is 6'1", although Gunther does have the reach advantage by one inch at 73 inches to Chase Wolford 72 inches. All right, these gentlemen are ready. They have not stopped looking at each other. Gunther said no thank you to the to the touch of gloves. I do think that this he's playing a lot of nice low leg kick. I do believe he's playing some mental warfare here in this fight. Chase doing a great job of it immediately taking the center. Oh, big right hand landed for Chase Wolford there. He's doing a great job of just taking the lead, taking control of this ring. And he's collected. He's, he's much more collected than we are used to seeing him. Oh, that was a big leg kick. Very big low kick. kick. Might have shut down Chase's legs. But Chase is doing a great job right now, fighting the takedown. He's got his underhook. Nice knee. Beautiful low leg. Oh, and they are almost out of the ring here. <laughs> great job. Fighters almost came out the ring, but referee did a great job of, of reeling them back in. And this is a very intense fight. These gentlemen are... Oh, there's that head kick that Gunther said he would land, and it landed. Chase ate that for dinner, though. Nice check hook from Chase Wolford. Oh, beautiful right hand followed by a nice entry to this takedown here. And Gunther doing a great job of staying heavy here, keeping his hips squared. Got two double underhooks here. Let's see what he can do with them. But Chase, again, is, is doing a fantastic job of, of keeping control with overhooks. Gunther gets the, gets the takedown, though. Great job of just reeling that arm in. Working his way up the body in full mount now. And then has Chase's head on the ropes. Nice short shot here from Chase, but this, this you, you can't be striking right now. Not when you are at full mounted with two minutes left. You have to deal with the grappling right now. Beautiful elbow from Gunther. He's got to start pushing the hips and trying to get a frame, getting one of his knees inside to create a frame and get back to his guard. Because this position right here, Gunther doing a great job of just staying heavy here, landing big shots. Big shots right here. Chase just doesn't have an answer for this position, and that, that is tough. Ten seconds here. Let's see if Gunther can land some big shots here. Nice little short elbows, but Chase is landing his own little strikes at the bottom, and what that is doing is forcing Gunther to get tight. Great first round from these guys. These, these two are intense and loving the war. I love it. Oh, big overhand right into another takedown entry, but Chase did a great job of keeping his balance and landing a right hand of his own. Oh, he just ate that and smiled at him. I can't believe that. That kick was nasty. He's not even phased. Chase is not even phased. He's a monster. Oh my goodness, these guys. It's the, it's the hand positioning of Chase Wolford, and, and that's where Gunther is reading this head kick. And, and you would think that Chase would bring his hands up. He's, he's landed two flush kicks. They're getting closer and closer. Chase doing a great job of keeping the center of this ring here. Nice jab, but Gunther landed a nasty low leg kick. And both men are intense. Neither one willing to give an inch in this fight. Oh, beautiful jab. 
I will say this, Chase's technique looks much better than the last fight. He's much more calculated in this fight, much more collected. And I don't know if that's Gunther forcing him to fight this very technical fight or if those are his skills that he's been working on and that's the experience that's coming as he and goes on in his career. Great right hand that landed from Gunther into a takedown entry. But Chase doing a great job of, of working his takedown defense here. He's got a heavy wizard, heavy overhook. Great job now of fishing over to his underhook side and starting to work his way. Oh, beautiful elbow, short elbow from Gunther. I just think that Gunther is putting together some more tools in this fight right now. Chase has got to find his way, but these low leg kicks are just nasty. It's making it difficult to do anything. This is such a great back and forth fight. That He's got to mix it up and that, that's the way to go, whether it's to the body. Beautiful forward blitz here and finishes the takedown, Gunther. Great job to land immediately into mount. Fantastic way to finish the second round. All right. Two in the books, one more to go. Third and final round for these gentlemen for the belt. All right, guys, I was just notified. It is five three minute rounds, so we still have three more rounds to go. Oh, that low leg kick is nasty. You don't know how many more. You can already see that Wolford is starting to compromise and another one has landed. He's got to deal with it. Oh! Beautiful jab from Gunther here. There he goes. He's got to put the pressure. But this is the problem with the way that Gunther is able to mix his work together is as soon as Chase puts the pressure on Gunther is right underneath and on his hips and as we see in a full mount position with two minutes left in this round he's fishing for he seems to be fishing for a head and arm here and I don't know if Chase will have this ability or skills to know how to deal with this he's doing a great job of turning right now But he's got to pull it. Okay, there his elbow is back. He's got to deal with the leg lace, the grapevine, so to call it, of Gunther. Gunther doing a great job. He has control of that arm. Might be looking for a Kimura. He's doing a great job of attacking both sides of the arm. Let's see what he goes for. I don't know if an arm bar is coming. Nice strikes from Gunther here. Forrest Chase to turn. A minute left. Already has an un has an underhook, and I can't see from my angle how deep this choke is in. But Chase doing a great job of turning and turning, and he's got to keep turning like he's doing. Gunther is under the neck, but on a, he's got a little short choke perhaps. There it is, it's over! Great fight from John Gunther, incredible fight. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, how about a ring for big round of applause for both young men inside the ring. What a freaking fight. Our referee, Larry Downs Jr., steps in and calls a halt to the bout at two minutes and 14 seconds of round number three. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And the new Island Fights welterweight champion, John. 